All right, so from the closed guard, I'm going to be working the cross grip, grip strip and dragging the arm across. But my opponent grabs my sleeve and he stands up out of it. As he stands up, I underhook his leg and move my body towards him. I scooch over, but I ideally do that as he's standing up. Now I'm going to hit him with three things. I'm going to hit his ankle right at the crook of my arm, right on my muscle. Now I'm going to pivot my hips over to get his knee to flare out to the outside. And I'm going to pull down with my cross grip. All this I'm going to do right as he postures up. He postures up. Now, my arm kind of gets caught right here. So I put my hand on the ground. I undo and then take them out of position. You don't unlock your legs until the very end. Next technique. Same thing. I'm working to strip his grip to drag his arm across. But he stands out of it. He's a smart opponent. Now, I go underneath. But he doesn't posture up. He just kind of stays broken down like this. I go over a little bit extra, and now I feed this grip underneath, and I get a nice tight two-on-one grip. Once I feel my grip is tight, I reach up and grab as high as I can behind his ear, and I get the collar grip. Now I pull my knee out on the inside. I pivot my whole hip structure. I throw my legs forward, and then roll like a log. Now I come around and take the mounted position here, crossing his arm in the process. Then ready to work straight jacket grips from the technique block A. Now that kind of finishes out a skeleton for the closed guard when you combine it with technique block A. And now I'm going to be working, stripping his grip on my opponent is smart. He stands in my guard all the way he gets posture. It's too late for me to do this sweep because he's got so much posture and he starts to push on my leg. My guard is going to open. So push on it with this one here. What I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to reach up and I'm going to grab a hand in the collar and hand in the sleeve. I had him open with that side just for simplicity's sake. Now I'm going to open my guard and I'm going to get the foot on the hip and foot on the bicep. This is what we call the Daryush guard. So you want to be able to set it up before your guard opens, before it opens, okay? Now, the next technique is if, for whatever reason, he's opening my guard from the sitting position, I'm in trouble here. The spider guard is a, more, a way to lock down your opponent into the position. So if you can go to the spider guard first, and then set up Daryush guard, it's a little bit easier from the sitting position. I get both sleeve grips and I bring my knee on the inside. I put my foot on his hip, I hip out, make the leg lasso and make the spider guard grip. From here, I release and now I'm in Daryush guard with the leg lasso. If you can do that while he's standing, more power to you, but sometimes it's just hard to make that grip. Now, stand up please. Techniques from the Daryush guard, I'm going to put my foot on the hip foot on the bicep, hand on the collar, nice and deep. Now, to keep this position, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curl my toes around the crook of his arm, and I'm gonna have him move around a little bit, move around, and I'm gonna follow his arm. If he takes his arm and just puts it behind his back, I'm gonna put it right on his shoulder, because I need to create that push-pull sensation, okay? So, next technique is he frees his arm, free your arm. I'm gonna circle my leg and put it right back there. He frees it. I put it back right there. Now, from the Daryush guard with the daily Heva grip, he frees his, his uh, arm, go ahead and free, and he takes a back step and steps over. At which time I push off his knee, so I get this way, and I'm going to put it in the leg lasso right here. The leg lasso is your defense. Anytime you feel uncomfortable, you go to the leg lasso to stop his guard passing attempts. Okay. Now, on to some basic attacks. From the foot on the hip, your opponent should never give you foot on the hip. It allows you to control too much distance. See I can, how I can dictate where he stands. There's other stuff you can do as well. So foot on the bicep, foot on the hip, hand on the collar, hand on the sleeve. I extend him out and I pull as hard as I can, creating that push-pull sensation. Then I just bend my legs, I shoot my hips up and go for the triangle. Now number two, I create that push-pull from the hip push pull and I bend him in and now look I bend his arm over my leg shoot my leg up as far as it can go I put my hip on the ground start hipping out hipping out hipping out hipping out and getting this position here 
Now, from here, you're going to do umaplata sweep 1.0. Let's scoot a little bit this way here. Keep it in the frame. I'm going to raise my hand like I have a question, and he's going to try and step over my chest with his leg, and I'm going to catch it tight, extend my legs, and roll like a log. I get up. I don't let him lock his legs around my body. Lock your legs around my body. I don't want this. It's not. He doesn't have anything. It's just annoying. So pin down his leg and then take the top position. Now, the triangle and the umaplata and umaplata sweep exist on all three levels of the Daryush guard. Daryush guard with daily Kiva hook. From right here, I hang my whole body weight from here. He's going to posture up. I pull my hips up with that posture. I undo this, I cock it up, and now throw my leg in there, and now I have triangle, and I have umaplata. And then you do the sweep. Same thing exists from the leg lasso. So I'm here, it, it gets a little crazy, I decide to put it in the leg lasso, a nice shallow leg lasso. The more he tries to pass, the deeper the leg lasso can go. Now I pull as hard as I can, give me some resistance, and now I undo, I pull my hips up, look how they're up off the air, and then I chop in and get the triangle or the umaplata. Now, my opponent is in combat base with his knee pointed to the outside, toes pointed to the outside. I'm going to use the back of my leg to push off and wiggle back a little bit. Now I put my foot on his knee, kick it out, and I go to triangle or umaplata. Now his knee is on the inside with his toe pointed straight towards my butt. I'm going to put my foot on the ground, hip out, go shin with shin, hip back in. I pull with my grips and I raise my leg and go to the triangle or the umaplata. When I'm in the triangle, uh, the umaplata position, if he postures up, you switch to triangle. I did that one out of order. Now, continuing stand up. Continuing here, if my opponent uh, frees his arm, free your arm, he begins to step over my leg, back step and step over. I hip out, put the leg lasso in, and now come down. We're in the leg lasso half guard. First sweep is going to be an arm drag. So I'm going to take out my hook really quick. I'm going to pass the grip to the two on one. Two on one becomes one. Grab his, his lat or his armpit and then get up and take the back. So arm drag from leg lasso half guard. Next technique is the sweep to the left from leg lasso half guard. Got a little bit deeper this time. Now I'm gonna make a palm up grip right on the inside part of his leg. Now I wait for the right time and I'm gonna flare open my leg aggressively and then use this right arm to punch up. I free my leg. Release my arm so I don't bicep slide through him and come on top. Now, from the leg lasso half guard, my opponent tries to clear his leg. Either that or I pull out my own leg on my own initiative. He tries to come around this way. I tuck my chin in real tight and I block this arm from coming underneath my neck and I shoot my hook in deep as it goes with the back of my foot on his, his lower back. Now, watch this leg, I push down. And I get up on my shoulder and my foot. Now I roll and get the umaplata position. If in absence of the umaplata, you can transition to the triangle as you're rolling if he tries to posture up or the closed guard. So there's a couple of possibilities there. As the passer, be aware that his grip is twisted and strip it and try and pass in that moment. Okay. Now last, my opponent manages to get in tighter, he passes around with this leg lasso and he gets in super tight. From here, as he's coming in, you can go under his leg and flare it open this way and maybe get a sweep, but it's probably not going to be enough. You're going to need to be like a swing, rocking back and forth. I'm going to take him this way and then try and go inverted. Take him that way, try and go inverted. So right here, I come here and he bases, ah! Now, I put my hand on his hip and I scooch out this way. Now he comes in again tight to smush me, and I take him this way. Then come here, and now I get to my knees, and then roll. It's optional to get to your knees. You can also 
decide to do the inversion like you did in the previous one, where you got up like this, and then roll. But if you're not as athletic, you can try getting to your knees. Enjoy technique block B.